glad to be able to share lunch today, uh, and we'll do that out the uh, front door on this end of the building. Uh, when you exit out, you can just go across the way. Uh, our lunch partners today uh, are Boulevard Baptist Church. Uh, we are grateful for them and uh, for all of our uh, partners. Um, so uh, make sure you stop to get lunch. We'll be here throughout the week uh, distributing lunch, and uh, we're open each morning uh, 9 to 12. Let me remind you, uh, we gather at 12 noon here in the chapel uh, to pray together, and so we invite you to come in person and be a part of that. If you, uh, if you followed the news uh, any this week, a Friday, I think it was, the word came out from the Center for Disease Control that if you are fully vaccinated, if you've had your vaccines, you're two weeks beyond it, uh, the need to wear a mask, either outdoors or indoors, uh, is not necessary uh, because you're protected and you're not going to be spreading uh, the virus to anybody else. If you've not yet been vaccinated, it's still highly recommended that you do wear a mask uh, to protect yourself or to protect other vaccinated people. Now, like every other organization and entity and gathering across the country, we're still trying to kind of grapple with that. What does that mean? Should we still ask people to wear masks? Should we leave it up to you to, if you are vaccinated and don't want to wear a mask? That, uh, so we'll get a word out about that hopefully by next week as we kind of think uh, through that process. Our goal the whole time since this whole crazy time started from when we shut the doors and didn't have worship together to when we open our all whole goal has always been that we do the most loving thing. And the loving thing is to look out for each other and, and do what we can to protect each other. Let me say, I've said it before, I'm a believer in the vaccine. Uh, I've had my vaccine. Jean's had her vaccine. Dee's had her vaccine, I know. I uh, many others have had your vaccine. It wasn't bad, okay? It, even if you got a little sick, you got over it, right? From the vaccine, it protects you. The vaccines are being offered almost everywhere now. You can go to Ingalls, you can go to CVS, you can go to Walgreens, you can go to the health department. Uh, you can get the vaccine, it's free. Doesn't cost you anything. Uh, if you need help in, in finding a place to get the vaccine, we're happy to help you with that. If you need help getting there to get the vaccine, we are happy to help with that. The sooner we all are vaccinated, uh, the, then we can go back to completely life interacting with each other. We can hold hands again, we can hug each other, all that stuff that we enjoy doing. So that's just my little ad, uh, my little public, uh, what's that public announcement? <laughs> Yes. So, uh, the other thing I, I wanted to share with you, some really good news. Uh, we received a very generous gift here at South Main, financial gift, uh, several weeks ago. And I'll have more to say later about where that gift came from. But that gift is allowing us to do a couple of projects around here that have been long overdue. Uh, that we're so excited we're going to be able to complete. And one of those projects is probably going to start this week. We are replacing 51 windows in the Mercy Center side of the building with double pane vinyl windows. Uh, yay. yay! We won't have empty windows and they won't be painted or anything. That's exciting. The other project, which I don't know exactly when we will be starting this, but we are going to repair the ceiling in this room, and the entire room is going to be repainted. Uh, when we do that, we're probably going to have to be out of the sanctuary for a couple of weeks, but we're still going to worship. If we, maybe we can go outside again. Uh, if maybe we can gather down in the fellowship hall. Uh, so anyway, those are very exciting things. The other thing is, and I haven't yet... I can't nail this down yet, but I just, because this idea I've just discussed with Jenny this morning, and Elizabeth will be coming back in the first of June from her time off of being a new mama, but uh, 
I'm, on a, I'm pursuing a goal that on the last Sunday of June, which is our anniversary Sunday, seven years, that on that Sunday we'd be able to eat together in our dining room and resume our in-house inside dining. I think at that point, if you haven't gotten the vaccines because you've chosen not to get the vaccine, uh, and we, we can do that uh, safely. So that's my, that's my goal. All right. Any other news anybody wants to share? How about birthdays? Yeah, what's that? It's a how about birthdays? Birthday. Oh, thank you for reminding us that we, we have been. Anybody got a birthday this week? Saturday. Oh, John's got a birthday. Brad's got a birthday. All right, let's sing to Dawn then. <laughs> Our offertory again today was beautiful, Dee Dee. Our offertory, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.